Hi there, and welcome to the Cotswold Explorer. I'm Robin Shuckborough, and we're exploring the wonderful region of the Cotswolds in southwest England. We've decided to revisit the centre of the region and find some hidden gems, places that are not quite so famous, but still just as beautiful. Today you find Ross, Widget, Gizmo and me in the little village of Snow's Hill. Now we've been here before, long time back, as a kind of unexpected visit while we were looking at other things. And it was midwinter, somewhat appropriately considering its name. This time though, we've come back in the summer, just at the beginning of the summer. And it's transformed this place. It's absolutely beautiful. The hawthorns are out. The hedges are looking white and full of blossom. It's just extraordinary. I've just been talking to one of the Oxford guides and he was saying that if he wants to show his people the perfect quintessential English village, he brings them here. I agree with him and we're going to look around. Come with me. It's always wonderful when we're on location to be greeted by fans of the channel. And we were thrilled in Snow's Hill today to be able to chat to visitors from the United States, as well as a couple of professional guides from Bath, all of whom were friends of the Cotswold Explorer. That's the thing about this little village. It gives you a strong feeling that all's well with the world. As one of the guides told us, if he's asked by his visitors to show them a quintessential Cotswold village, he brings them here to Snow's Hill. It does all the things you hope a Cotswold village will do. It nestles in a fold in the hills, wrapped up and protected from the wild winds from the west. The steep lanes are lined with lovely 17th century cottages, built just haphazardly enough to so as not to create a regimented feel. The local building stone we've come to love so much, dug from the ground no more than a few miles from here, gives that wonderful warm glow to the place. It feels almost as though it has risen from the earth of its own accord. I suppose this village perfectly represents what it is we love about the Cotswolds. It seems to illustrate a more simple way of life from an earlier age, where the human race lived by the sweat of its brow, using whatever came to hand to build shelter, huddling together for warmth, protection and support against a harsh outside world. It's a cosy and comforting image, and of course, almost a complete fantasy. The truth is that life for the people who built these lovely cottages was harsh. Poverty was grinding, and life was extremely fragile. Having said that, their legacy is amazing. My instinct is to be delighted that there seems to be very little invasion of the 21st or even 20th century in Snow's Hill. And it's true that the housing developers seem to have been kept largely at bay, but even the preconception that modern additions are always unwelcome is challenged in this village. The church, standing as it does in the very centre of the village, is by local standards extremely modern. The villagers have been worshipping here since around the middle of the first millennium. No one seems to know what happened to the original church, but the one we see today was built as recently as 1864. In its time, a very modern addition to an ancient village. We can't even be sure of the architect, although Pevsner suggests it might have been Henry Day of Worcester but the unusual thickness of the walls might suggest someone lacking in the confidence needed to produce a building of elegance. Having said that, this church definitely has a hefty degree of charm. There was clearly a serious lack of funds available to build it. Indeed, the whole church was put up for 1,700 pounds or so. For example, the stone lips over the arches called hood molds, designed to shed water, were meant to be carved and decorated, but in this church they are plain, clunky and not very attractive. The tower is ill-proportioned with a blunt, heavy parapet. 
The intended spire would have helped, but they ran out of money, so instead there was a pyramid-like top put on the tower. Even that was removed in 1958, leaving the flat top we see today, without even battlements to relieve the plain lines. But there is a good, solid country charm about this building that comforts the visitor and suits the feeling of the village that surrounds it. There are a couple of good old objects in the church. The 15th century font with a new oak cover dedicated to John Hans, clerk of the parish for 50 years, and a Jacobean pulpit from around 1640. The stained glass, mostly, if not all, in memory of the Marshall family, is very good for the period, and apart from the east window, mostly by Frederick Preedy, a Victorian architect who very unusually for the time designed and made his own stained glass. We've come across him recently in Gloucester Cathedral. There's also a good war memorial cross in the southeast corner by F. L. Griggs. And if you're lucky enough to be here when the bell's being rung, you can revel in the fact that it was cast as early as 1350. The local pub, the Snows Hill Arms, is a friendly local hostelry that has avoided the massive 21st century gentrification trend of pubs in the Cotswolds and offers a delightfully old-fashioned pub grub menu and some terrific local beer. We suggest a visit before heading for the unusual National Trust House at the top of the village called Snows Hill Manor. I say unusual because in the case of this building it isn't the house itself that's of any particular interest, but the truly amazing collection of artefacts contained within. Originally, until the dissolution of the monasteries, the building belonged to Winchcombe Abbey, by 1919, it was in a pretty derelict condition, and it was bought by Charles Paget Wade, an eccentric architect, artist, craftsman, and avid collector. He set about a thorough restoration in the arts and crafts spirit and packed it with his amazing magpie collection. One day, when we've managed to negotiate access to the National Trust properties to film, we may well come back here to show you this extraordinary collection. This part of the world never stops giving us fascinating places to visit, and Snows Hill is certainly one of them. I hope you've enjoyed our little trip around Snows Hill. I do love this little church. I just love the idea that they ran out of money before they could build the spire. There's something appeals to me about that. Um, it's lovely. We've enjoyed going around it again. Remember, this is a sort of village to pass through. It, it's very small. The lanes are narrow. They won't welcome coaches. But I think we've enjoyed ourselves. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can find us on all the, the usual platforms, of course. And we'll see you around the Cotswolds again in the very near future. Take care.